Hey, my name is Nick Bries, and I'm a new media artist, thinker, educator, and organizer living and working in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and I wanted to share an app I made called Sample Chest, and maybe more importantly, the, the patch behind the app. Um, and what Sample Chest is, is a uh, sort of tiny app for creating video sample libraries by ripping videos from today's uh, richest AV cultural repository, YouTube. Um, and it's a variation on an app that I made for uh, my students in a video remix course that I taught over the summer, which they used um, to sort of really sort of quickly download samples and create sample libraries for video remix projects that, um, that they're working on. So um, Sample Chest is free, and you can download it on my site. Um, and when you do that, it'll look something like this. Um, it's pretty simple. It has two buttons. The first one uh, says start ripping and the second one says stop ripping. Uh, stop ripping is there in case you're downloading a really big file and you change your mind and you want to stop ripping. Um, and start ripping, when you click that, it asks for a URL um, and you grab that from the YouTube video that you want on the top of the browser in the address bar. Um, you would copy that URL and then paste it into Sample Chest and then it'll start uh, ripping the video. Um, once it starts ripping the video, it'll automatically create a folder called Free Culture in the same directory that the sample chest application's in. Uh, for me, that's my desktop. Um, and this is going to be your sample library. So this is where it's going to start collecting the different samples that you download. Um, and if you open it up, you'll see I've got a file in there now called Free Culture one um, dot mp4. And if I download another video, it'll call it freeculture2.mp4, 3.mp4, 4.mp4, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty simple. Um, and if you if if you already make remix video, I'm sure you have like a ton of different ways to, to rip videos from the internet. Um, whether that be using particular websites or browser plugins or screen capture software or whatever. What's kind of cool about this app is that I made it using Max MSP, and if you're a Max person, I'm sure you could probably think of a few different ways to use a patch like this in your own projects. I've used it actually on a ton of different projects, from real-time performance tools to art games. Uh, recently, I used it in a project I made called Mixmaster Mickey for, for ripping videos directly into the into the project, um, which was a was a kind of like creative piracy game and, and media literacy tool. Yeah, so so if you're a Max MSP jitter person. Um, I'm sure you can think of a, of a million different uses for this, from uh, VJ tools to video installation patches to whatever. So I've also put up the source code on my website for free, and I've done my best to, uh, to sort of clean it up and comment it out um, so that hopefully it's, it's really clear and you guys can appropriate it uh, into your own projects. Um, also, make sure to check out the README file, which has some pretty important uh, setup steps that you that you need to go through um, before any of this will, will work properly. I should also mention that right now this is only working on Macs, uh, the app, and probably also the patch. Um, if you're a PC Max MSP person and you could uh, remix this and maybe make a, um, a PC version, that would be super cool. Please send that over. Um, and if you're a pure data person and maybe you could appropriate some of this into a PD version, that would be super awesome. Definitely share that as well. So that's pretty much it. I hope you can get some good use out of the app in the patch um, and, and keep remixing. Um, I want to give quick shout outs and thanks to um, the, the whole YouTube-DL team for a super awesome Python script. Also to Mark Beasley for introducing me to that script and, and for helping me out with it. To Fihag for the fork on that script that got around YouTube's um, URL map key switcheroo, and also to Bill Orcutt for a super rad shell object for for Max, um, which is which I use on everything. Uh, cool, thanks.